Okay, I swear, whoever they pick to do these little preview videos that they put onto Twitter, find someone new, please. Just, just, just please. What's going on everyone, Talon back here, and today we are back with another update video. Man, these updates have been coming out through the woodworks. Where was this? Uh, oh yeah, two years ago, Dogen? I mean, hey, I guess better late than never, but still. Uh, Legends, thank you very much for finally whooping Akatsuki's butt into shape here. I mean, jeez. You, you, you know, everyone has to know, this is because of Legends. Legends success, whether you like it or not, or the amount of people that have been drawn to the game itself have basically made Akatsuki go, oh, we should probably start fixing some of this stuff. So, without further ado, we seem to be getting some kind of update on the 19th, which is a weird day to honestly put out an update because that's on a, sa that's on a Sunday. Kind of, like I said, random because the 20th is monday so i'm just like okay fine let me not complain not complaining just you know just like okay kind of kind of kind of weird time so um anyway so let's take a look at what we're going to be getting here now obviously this is not including everything because at the very bottom here they do say expect more with this update but overall let's take a look at what we're getting here so first off uh if you click the link obviously at the very top it's going to say uh you know go to the website you'll be able to see some pictures so there are going to be some videos that i do want to take a look at and kind of dissect a little bit more than what it simply says here in japanese okay so first off, if we move into here, uh, let's see, we've got a last stage and a friend or friend clear times and all that kind of stuff, fun stuff. So basically, there is an update now where after you've beaten an event, you can then in the team selection process of the stage and everything, you can take a look at the best times from your friends, the best times in guests. And then you can also, it has this weird, like you, it says it literally translates to use the last team you just used, which would then hint at basically being a retry button. But at the same time, just like, but you're already back at the friend screen. It's you're like, but you're back at the screen already to get, you know, to then pick your items and everything like that. So it's just like, what's going on here? So let's take a quick look at what the video that they're trying to do. And uh, by the way, keep in mind, there is no volume to this. I have listened to tried to listen on my phone and everything. There is no volume in these videos. Like they, you can tell they just can kind of rush these out. So let's go, let's go ahead and take a look here. Okay. So we'll, uh, let's bring it back. And so here we go. All right. So as of, okay. So as you can see right now, this is like what we're used to seeing right here, right? We've got the item selection. We've got the team selection. I swear they must be putting those random teams in here. Who the heck would take STR Broly on an all uh, female team? Like that makes absolutely no sense. So anyway, we're continuing on. They go back and then boom. So we're right back to here. Okay. So this is the new, oops. If we thought we could do it it's back a little bit. Okay. Here. So here we go. Okay. So first off, you can go ahead and right here where my cursor is, you can go ahead and take a look at records. Okay. So it's for the stage in particular, and it will have your team obviously on there for that. And it will show like your top 10 friends records. And it has then like guests or something like that. I don't know how they're going to determine guests and everything. Uh, but anyway, so you can go ahead and take a look at that. And then down here, it says, you know, you use the last team you just used, but it's just like, but we're already back at the team screen. If this is, if this is meant to be a, you know, retry button, essentially. Why is this at the very end of the stage, you know, where you clear the stage and you can click on uh, like the time and everything that you had and how many items you use. And then it should say, hey, do you want to retry this using the same team, the same friend or something like that, or the same character or something, you know, whatever the case may be. And if you click yes, then it automatically starts taking you back right then there, not taking you back to the screen or something like that. So I don't know. I mean, it's a cool feature. Don't get me wrong. Just kind of confusing. Maybe I'll understand a little bit more when I actually get it in my hands and be like, oh, this is what it means here. Okay. That's what's gonna happen. Okay, so I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. So anyway, so if we continue on the little video here, uh, here is the friend side. So as you can see, this is the Katakana for Frendo. This is clear, um, you know, record, okay? And then this is the guest part over here. So right here, they're saying that this particular team right here is in fourth place. And then like right here is fifth, sixth, seventh. You have to wonder who the heck uses a Ginyu team with Cell. I know, I know these are all promotional videos to simply show you the idea, but come on, at least have a little consistency, right? I mean, that, that's all we're really asking for. So anyway. So it continues on, it kind of shows you your friends. You can go over to guests here, and then it just has random guests essentially that you know are different ranks, and then they'll rank you where you are essentially. That that's basically it. So again, I'm not really sure how they're gonna handle the whole guest thing because technically you always have guests no matter what. Maybe it's just gonna be the top 10 in all. It could be the top 10 that can appear only in your guest list uh, before resetting the server, you know, whatever the case. I don't know what the case is gonna be, but we'll have to wait and see. Uh, so they go ahead and take a look at the guest part here. They back out. 
and then uh, they go here, and then you, oh, so when you click this little button right here, you can then see what your friend, or the, in this case, the guest technically, what the guest or friend used in terms of that battle. So they went into this normal stage here, they beat it in a minute and nine seconds, and they did not use any items, okay? So obviously, if you're gonna go on to something like a Dokenfest event or a Super Battle Road, then we go and take a look at that right there, okay? Next is gonna be going into the Giants category i never thought i would see this day coming and it's way overdue it's about time the giants category everyone who can go giant great ape you name it finally has access to the ability system bus if you have rainbowed your great ape goku if you have rainbowed your agl tapion or anything like that they can finally access the uh ability system buffs okay now this is a great this is a great update right this is a long time coming really wish we had it a lot sooner but hey we finally have it I don't see it being that big of a deal in the long run, honestly. And I'm not saying that it should not have come. I'm not saying that, you know, oh, just ignore the Giants and everything. That. I'm glad they finally did it. I'm just saying we don't expect to see an all of a sudden a tremendous amount of people using the Giants category, okay? Now, I know someone like the AGL Tapion, when he does transform he, and he goes into his Rudigon stage, he gets like 150% up in the attack or something like that. And he's supposed to be really good, right? Especially under his own leader skill. But I still don't see that particular leader being run that often. We're going to see it. It's going to be, I mean, every, everyone ever remember uh, physical uh, future Gohan? What did everyone say in the comments? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna be using that team all the time. I'm gonna be using them all the time. Yeah, I haven't seen that guy around since uh, his initial banner came by. No, no offense to anyone who still does use him. Great team. I love using the guy personally myself. He's just you never find him anymore. You really can't. So I don't see the Giants category particularly being found that much. I'm not saying people aren't gonna try and use him, but you know, in, until until we get a Giants category for Super Battle Road. I, I personally don't see it being used that much. I could be wrong, and I hope I am wrong, but past experiences with certain leads and everything tell me otherwise. So I don't know. We'll, we'll have to wait and see. But anyway, so let's go and take a look at the video real quick where it comes to taking a look at the... Uh, I don't know why I'm turning the volume on because there is no volume to the video. So, so you can finally get a dodge in there. And you have to wonder what the team is because when they show this critical attack off, it almost looks like he's just simply getting a normal super attack off. I mean, look at this right here, okay? So here's the fireball in and... Okay, gets the critical, 254,000 damage. Now, obviously, right there, we already know he's not under a Giants League category. He's probably under some, you know, three key plus three plus 3,000 attack or something like that, or maybe under maybe under 70% lead or something like that. We're not really sure. But overall, it's like, come on, whoever is making these videos, put a little bit more effort into it. Sh show us why we should care about these guys getting buffed. Because honestly, at face value, if you don't know what the Giants can do, and you look at this video and you go... Um, that's what most giants do when they transform. I mean, overall average, I think SA 10, a few ability, you know, you, you can't really count these ability system most, but if you're SA 10 with most of the, with any giant card, they're doing around that much damage, give or take, you know, I, I guess type advantage can kind of come into effect sometimes, but overall, it's just like that video is not selling it. Marketing people, come on, marketing. Where's Moscow X to do his marketing gig? We need, we need you, we need you here, man. We need you here. So, and then the last little bit of information, um, essentially, is two things right here. First off, we have the uh, showing the roots, essentially, if you can open up something in the ability system. So, if you have a character of you know whoever it might be, and then you have a dupe of them, okay, or you have some card that's just simply in your box, you forgot about it, you can't find it, whatever the case may be, they are going to be highlighted with this kind of blue purplish circle. It looks like again color deficiency with certain colors with me so sorry if i'm getting that color wrong but nonetheless it's going to show you that it's gonna be like hey guys if you're selecting a character in the ability system area so again this is the katakana and kanji for the roots of the ability system and then searching for the character when you're picking them then you can go ahead and pick you know it's going to highlight and be like hey guys you have this right here click on this guy and you'll be able to use the ability or you, you'll do uh throw the dupe into it for the ability system right there okay so that's kind of a cool little feature you know i i guess it's, it's one of those things like it didn't really need to be in the game, but hey, you know, I guess that's something we've definitely been missing. So it's, kind of, it's pretty cool to see that right now. So I'm not, I'm not mad about that at all, um, especially if you have gone through maybe a lot of summons and then you forget about it or something like that. You're like, oh, yeah, I can throw that guy into the ability system. Let's do it. So that's definitely something right there. And then finally, this one is a long time coming. They have officially given us the effect, the uh, a way to see that when you're in battle, okay. So when you're in battle, no, not gonna need. 
then you'll be able to see if the person gets stunned, if the attack or defense is going down. Granite lowering defense still does nothing in this game except for Broly stages. But nonetheless, uh, yeah, we'll finally be able to see it. So basically when you get attacked, you're only going to see little things below, the little icons appear below the damage indicator, okay? So let's go and take a look at the quick video that they have right here, okay? Or I guess it's technically still a picture. I thought they had a video. Nope, that's just the Broly stuff that we've talked about already. If you missed my little uh, translation slash discussion about the Broly video, I'll have that at, at the end here. You can go and check it out. Uh, a lot of people speculating this upcoming Wednesday supposedly is when we're supposed to see it, so... Um, anyway, so that's basically it, though, in terms of this little guy here. Uh, it's cool. Finally, you know, you get to see, oh, did it activate? Do I need to wait to see, uh, you know, the top little part here, wait for it to cycle through all the usual, you know, can't stun or did get stunned or sealed or anything like that? Nope, it's going to tell you right out here automatically. You'll be able to see it. You'll be like, okay, don't, use, don't need to use an item. Yes, I need to use an item. All that fun stuff, so... Overall, really cool. And then down here, it says, expect more to be coming with this update, version 3.14. Uh, this announcement goes away on the 19th of uh, Ju or, I almost said July of August here. So that means that we're going to get it on that on that day, basically, right after that. So it will be an app update. It's not going to be simply some in-game da uh, download or anything like that. There will be an actual update to the app itself. So make sure you go ahead and go into your respective store, download it when it comes out. Uh, if you use, you know, an emulator and everything, give, you know, Renzi or whoever does it a couple, you know, a few hours, obviously, just, you know, take your time, be a little patient, guys, and then it will come out for you guys, okay? So anyway, guys, that's me for the video. Let me your thoughts down below in the comments. What other little updates do you think we're going to get? Because when we got the last update that was showing off some of those little features, we got some other features, you know, because the, the friend system was what came last time. And then we also got a few extra little things we didn't really know that we needed and wanted, and they're actually pretty good. So let me know what kind of up extra updates do you think is going to be coming with this. Uh, leave your comments down below, as always, or add me over on Twitter. And uh, let's, get this discussion, just, yeah, let's get this discussion going. So anyway, guys, that's going to be it for the video. Let me know your thoughts down below. As always, leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you happen to be new. Until next time, everyone, I'll see you all in the next one.